They are known to cash in insane amounts of money for their projects. But are Hollywood celebrities any good at handling their wealth? Today, we're looking into the lives of actors who went broke in the most bizarre ways imaginable. The last one will shock you. Kim Basinger While celebrities like Johnny Depp splurged on luxuries and Nicolas Cage's financial woes included extravagant possessions, Kim Basinger's bankruptcy takes the cake. Unlike most bankruptcies, Kim's involved a bizarre real estate purchase. In a tiny town with barely any residents, Kim impulsively bought the entire place for a whopping $20 million. Her grand vision? Transforming the sleepy town into a Hollywood haven, complete with a film studio, theme park, and shopping centers. Here's the kicker. This town was in the middle of nowhere, with a struggling economy. Locals described it as a place where breeding chicken is about the most exciting thing to do. Building a Hollywood attraction there seemed illogical from the start. Unsurprisingly, the project flopped. Kim was forced to sell the town for a measly $4.3 million, taking a massive loss of $15.7 million. Not only that, but her family, who also invested in the project, became alienated. The stress of the failed venture caused Kim to pull out of a movie, leading to an $8.9 million lawsuit from the producers. With no way to pay, Kim filed for bankruptcy. Despite the financial ruin, at least she had her freedom. Unlike some celebrities whose extravagant spending habits landed them in hot water. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes' financial woes landed him not only in debt, but also behind bars. Despite earning millions from his acting career, he failed to file tax returns for seven years, accumulating a staggering $23.5 million debt to the IRS. His attempts to avoid paying were as strange as they were unsuccessful. He claimed to be a non-resident alien, despite being born in the US and denied having any taxable income. He even made bizarre accusations against the IRS. Unsurprisingly, these tactics backfired. Snipes was charged with tax evasion and sentenced to three years in federal prison in 2008. Even after his release, he failed to make any significant payments towards his debt. His offer of $842,000 was rejected by the IRS and his claims of economic hardship were dismissed. The court did reduce his debt to $9.5 million, but it seems the issue remains unsolved. While avoiding taxes for over a decade might seem clever, Snipes' strategy ultimately landed him in prison and left him with a hefty bill. Heidi Montag Reality TV star Heidi Montag made a fortune from shows like The Hills, but it didn't last. Despite her wealth, her financial decisions were questionable. She poured millions into a music album that flopped, comparing its cost to established artists like Britney Spears. Her lavish lifestyle included expensive wine and shopping sprees, fueled by the belief, later proven wrong, that the world was ending in 2012. In a desperate attempt to revive her career, she even staged a fake divorce with her husband. Unfortunately, it took losing everything for Heidi to learn about financial responsibility. Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage's story serves as a cautionary tale for anyone with newfound wealth. After the success of National Treasure, his net worth soared to $150 million, triggering a spending spree of epic proportions. Cage amassed a real estate portfolio that would make most blush. He splashed out on a $25 million waterfront mansion, a $15 million island retreat, a Las Vegas getaway for $8.5 million, and even two European castles for a cool $12.3 million. Perfect for the Gatsby-esque parties, of course. But his extravagance wasn't limited to bricks and mortar. 
Cage collected an impressive and expensive fleet of vehicles, including four yachts, nine Rolls Royces, and a vintage Bugatti worth nearly $3 million. He also indulged in some truly unique acquisitions, like a $276,000 dinosaur skull, a $150,000 Superman comic, a $150,000 pet octopus, and even a pair of albino king cobras priced at $150,000. To top it all off, he even pre-purchased his own extravagant burial plot for $40,000. Unfortunately, Cage's spending spree coincided with a 2008 financial crisis and a decline in high-paying acting roles. With six mortgages on his Bel Air mansion alone, not to mention loans on his other properties, he was drowning in debt. Unpaid taxes added another $6.2 million to his woes. Forced to sell his extravagant possessions, Cage took a significant financial hit. His Rhode Island mansion, once a $15 million pride of place, went for a measly $9.5 million. The dinosaur skull, sadly, turned out to be stolen and was confiscated by the government. Cage blamed his former manager for his financial woes, launching a lawsuit for $20 million. However, the lawsuit was dismissed after his manager revealed he had advised against many of Cage's outlandish purchases, including private jets, a yacht fleet, and a collection of expensive cars and jewelry. Left with no choice, Cage took on a string of lower quality acting roles to stay afloat. As he himself admitted, Financial considerations became a major factor in his career choices. While he eventually managed to right the ship, Cage's story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked spending, even for Hollywood A-listers. Randy Quaid Randy Quaid's story is a cautionary tale of a successful Hollywood career derailed by bizarre behavior. Roles in iconic films like Independence Day, Brokeback Mountain, and the National Lampoon franchise made him a multi-millionaire. He even earned a Golden Globe and an Oscar nomination. However, in 2009, Quaid's life took a dramatic turn. He and his wife were arrested for defrauding a hotel and refusing to appear in court. This was followed by another arrest for squatting in a former residence. Things spiraled further when Quaid and his wife began promoting outlandish conspiracy theories. They claimed a shadowy group called Star Whackers was targeting celebrities, including themselves, and controlling their finances. Seeking refuge, Quaid fled to Canada and used YouTube to spread his conspiracies. This move ultimately led to a third arrest as he attempted to re-enter the United States. The whereabouts of Quaid's estimated $40 million fortune remain unclear. His story serves as a reminder of the fragility of fame and the potential consequences of embracing conspiracy theories. Kelly Rutherford Kelly Rutherford's story highlights the devastating financial impact of a prolonged international custody battle. After achieving fame on Gossip Girl, she found herself locked in a legal fight with her ex-husband, a German national, over their two children. A judge ruled the children should reside in Europe with their father, who was denied re-entry to the US. Determined to bring them back, Kelly poured every resource she had into the legal battle. This relentless pursuit unfortunately led to bankruptcy. Her assets dwindled to a mere $24,000, while her debts ballooned to a staggering $2 million. Back taxes, credit card charges, and a meager monthly income painted a picture of financial despair. Despite her valiant efforts and the complete depletion of her fortune, the court ultimately ruled against her. Kelly's story serves as a poignant reminder of the immense financial strain a custody battle can create, even for celebrities. Johnny Depp Johnny Depp's financial history has been noteworthy. While listed as the world's highest paid actor by the Guinness Book of Records in 2012, reports indicate he spent significant sums of money over a similar period. This led to comparisons with actor Nicolas Cage's past spending habits. 
Depp reportedly acquired numerous properties, including a Bahamian island, several mansions, and a French village. Legal documents detailed Depp's monthly expenses, which included private jets, security, a large staff, and a substantial spending on wine. One of Depp's more unusual expenditures was reportedly the $3 million spent on his friend Hunter S. Thompson's funeral, which included firing his ashes from a cannon. Similar to Nicolas Cage, Depp also became embroiled in a legal dispute with his former management company, TMG. TMG, however, countersued, alleging Depp disregarded their financial advice. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you like it. Thanks for watching.